So, how to most effectively, as a solo, kill all the bosses? Uh, it's actually pretty easy. There are other strategies uh, that involve, like, stickies. I don't bring a sticky, obviously. If I have shadow, which I actually don't right now, but if I have shadow, uh, I'll bring a uh, hive bomb so that AI doesn't uh, get attracted to me. But you want to find an axe. You go into the boss layer. Usually when you just go into the spider boss layer, the spider will screech at you. And you can hit it twice, but I, I was a little late. But you go in, hit the spider twice. Now it's enraged and you just get out. And that's it. You let it come down again. You go back in, melee it twice. It's enraged again, and you just get out. Check if it's white or red, it's white. Red, if that yellow, or yellow. If that white indicator was red, that would mean people are nearby, but they're not. Comes down again, go back in, melee two more times. You might notice that my stamina is not decreasing at all. That's because uh, I have the trait conduit and I got enough clues to have uh, stamina going. So I have infinite stamina for nine more minutes. And it's dead. It's that easy. You could use a sticky, but I am a solo, so I typically don't like to bring stickies. And you could also do heavy light heavy. If you go, if you do heavy swing and then a light swing and a heavy swing, uh, you can do one less enrage on the spider, but I don't really like to do that. I like to just do it the classic way. Spider's easy. We're going over to Ma, though. So now we have the butcher. Butcher is actually even easier than the spider, I think, because the spider will be annoying and it will go up on the walls, but the butcher, the butcher don't. He just walks around. Pretty much the same strategy. Pretty much same strategy. Melee twice. He enrages. You know he's enraged by him swinging around his hook. There he goes, swinging it around. You just avoid him. Get out of the boss lair. Easy peasy. Check if it's white or red. It's white. Usually when he does that screech, he's done being enraged. You go back. Melee twice. Get out. Check if it's white or red. It's white. Uh, the sledgehammer is actually not too bad against the butcher. If you have a sledgehammer, or if that's all you can find, what I like to do is uh, a heavy and then a light, and then he'll swing and then I dodge. And then I'll do another heavy, and that will enrage him. So if this was a sledge, it would be heavy light, dodge his swing and then actually hit him again. So now he's enraged. We'll just, you know, avoid that really quick. Check if it's white or red, it's white. He's done being enraged and two more hits. You could do the special dancing technique where you stand behind the butcher the whole time, uh, constantly moving. It's going to like the, the butcher is going to like rotate around. You do this little dance where the, the butcher is enraged uh, and you kind of just stay behind him at all times. Uh, but I don't like to do that because it's a little bit riskier if you're trying to fight the boss while you're doing that And then another team shows up and you don't have enough time to actually kill the boss uh, Yeah, that's not good That's not good because then you'll probably be on fire and you're probably gonna die. So I don't like to do that Okay, assassin super easy Super duper easy for the assassin 
All you gotta do is get an axe and can go to town, dude. Two swings will take off a quarter of its health and then you just keep on swinging. You just keep fucking swinging. Keep it going. Keep on swinging. You just keep on going. Now it'll stop. It'll go run away and then it'll start cloning. And you hit it some more. But once it starts cloning, which I think it'll do right about now-ish, probably. Nope, it'll do a wall thing. I actually want it to clone. There, that's its cloning. It's cloning. It's going to sl split up into three different uh, assassins. If one of the clones touches you and then you get these bugs on your screen, there's going to be an unstoppable melee where it doesn't matter what you do. You can't stop it. Even if you meleeed, uh, if I had meleeed right there, it wouldn't have stopped it. That's an unstoppable melee. So once you get bugs on your screen from a clone like that, you want to get out of the boss layer and reset it. You just do that. And usually you hear that little like swooshy sound that it does. That's, that's the part that a lot of people don't get. They don't understand that when you get bugs on your screen from one of the clones, it, uh, it will do an unstoppable melee. If you don't have a stamina shot, what you can do is swing at it twice and then stop. Let it reset because you're going to be pretty much out of stamina. Swing at it twice. Let it reset. Avoid the clones. You can actually kill them just by doing some kind of light melee. You don't want to waste a full, uh, like a full melee swing on one of the clones. All it takes to kill one of those clones is just one HP worth of damage. So you don't want to, you don't want to waste all your stamina on killing the clones. So I have a pitchfork, which is the most effective weapon against Scrappy right now. But just let's say you don't have it. What you can do I use throwing axes and with frontiersmen when you uh you normally you get two throwing axes but with frontiersmen you get one more total of three what you want to do is throw the three throwing axes into scrappy and then pull them out and it'll enrage scrappy and then you just keep doing that you get away let him enrage uh He's going to come back down and then you do it again. But Pitchfork is better. Pitchfork is the most effective thing against Scrappy. He screeched, so he's done being angry. Stab and dodge and stab and dodge until he enrages. Let him freak out. Go away. I'll calm down in a bit. Once he start, once he stops swinging, stab, dodge, stab, dodge, stab, dodge, enrage, super easy. And if you can't find a pitchfork, you might get lucky and and he might uh, switch over to a different a different melee item. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine. Nothing to worry about. Stab, dodge, stab, dodge, stab, dodge. If you don't get lucky and find a pitchfork somewhere, uh, every time he enrages, he drops another melee item. So he could end up dropping a pitchfork for you, which is what you want to use. Axe is okay. You don't want to use a sledge. Uh, and I don't really like to use explosives or fire against Scrappy. One thing you can do, a little tip for Ma Battery, if you have uh, the spider or the assassin here, what you can do is open this door, set this oil on fire, and then every time the assassin or uh, spider comes over to you, it'll go through the fire and do more damage. And then you just sit right here and wait for it to come to you. Easy vanish.
All right, here's an important thing though. At at Windy, Windy has permanent pitchfork spawns. There's one here, and there's one inside, right over here, right there. Even if Scrapbeak is at this layer, even if Scrapbeak is here, they will still be there. The pitchfork is the most effective weapon to use against Scrapbeak. So if you need one, there they are. I'll show you guys something about the butcher, which hopefully you know about, but if you don't, now you're gonna know. If the butcher is at Windy, there will be a pig head right uh, right there on that fence. True fact, it'll be right there, 100% true. So if you're like way over there and you're not in the boss area or you're way over there and you can see the sign, you'll know if it's the butcher, if there's a pig head right there. That's 100% for real, yes. I guess, you know, a caveat to all of these is, again, this is this is my preferred way to kill all the bosses. There are, of course, different ways to kill all of the bosses. This is just, for me, it's, it's the fastest and safest way to kill all of the bosses. Because if you, it, it happens all the time. You're, you're working on the boss and then another team rolls up. You know, what do you do? Are you in the most perfect situation where you're able to defend yourself against the other players and the boss at the same time or are you on fire because you tried to do the spinny butcher technique where you where you try to kill it in one go you know so this is the fastest and safest way to kill the bosses as a solo i think but of course other people have other strategies i'm just you know some nobody that has you know, 7,500 hours in the game. So, you know, you, you do you. If you, if you have a different way or you think you do it a better way, that's okay.